Well, y'all make me feel loved. Thank you very much. It's a good position for an elected official. For an elected official. For an elected official. For an elected official. Thank you. Good morning. You know, it's, it's kind of a dreary day, but I don't think it matters uh, because of the reason that we're here. And first of all, let me uh, congratulate the Hilliard family. Um, you know, I look at you guys and I think about your dad and all the things that he did and he served as a mentor to me, not so much by what he told me, but I kind of watched his life. I watched him work in the community and also uh, build a strong practice. Uh, and you know, some of you might be thinking, how could he deliver 14,000 babies and still do all that work on the outside? That's what I learned from him, that you don't lose anything by giving back. You really don't. As a matter of fact, it's added on to you. Right. Now, some of you may be thinking, so what does the housing authority have to do with this clinic? And normally, housing authorities build housing. But we embarked on a Obama administration choice neighborhood grant. And what the Obama administration told us was that you got to do more for people than put them in a house. Because once you put them in a house, they still may not have a babysitter for their kids. They may not have adequate job training. They may not have access to health care. And when you attempt to do things like this, there's always going to be obstacles in the way. And I will never forget four years ago, the first national meeting I went to for Choice Neighborhood, the leader of that group looked at me and said, what are you doing here? And I said, well, I'm on the board for the Housing Authority. And she said, this is just for staff. This is not for commissioners. And I promised her, I said, I'm not going to get in the way. I just want to find out what am I supposed to do as a commissioner once I get back. And she said, you know, basically, we want staff to take care of this. The commissioners just take care of the administrative part of it. I didn't believe any of that. So... <laughs> When I got back, I found out that a percentage of the money, most of it is supposed to be used for housing, but there's about 15% that you can use to improve the neighborhood. And since I'm in healthcare, I thought simply because I knew of the healthcare disparities in this area, why don't we build a clinic? It made sense to me. And so our, our former CEO and president, Lourdes, is here, and she thought that was a great idea. And so Lourdes said, okay, Morris, we can give you $500,000. And that's when I said, we need a partner. <laughs> and so that partner was the county. We went to Judge Wolf, and we went to the commissioner's court, and they were in tune with the idea. And the University Health System Board with Ira, I called Ira. Ira taught me how to play golf, not very well. But he 
taught me how to play golf. And so I called Ira up and I said, Ira, we got to do this. And Ira went to his board and they made it work. They got a grant to build this building. The next thing was, where are you going to put it? And so when we as a housing authority, when we give land to someone else, we have to go through a very uh, strenuous process. And so we went through HUD to get a disposition application to give it to the county. And so we gave them this land. As a matter of fact, uh, we gave them the space for bibliotech. I think you guys pay us, what, a dollar a year? Yeah. We're going to have to go up on that, maybe 150. <laughs> Can you do it? Can you do that, Judge? <laughs> but we were glad to do that. And that's really the way this is supposed to work because we, we all work in our own little silos. We have to get out of that and work together because we can do more when we work together. And that is evidenced by what we've done here today. And so I'm so glad to stand here on behalf of the San Antonio Housing Authority. And I know one of our commissioners is here. Uh, Tommy Atkinson is here. And I want to commend him, too, because Tommy served in the, the, uh, the state office. Uh, then he served as a county commissioner. And then he agreed to come on to the Housing Authority Board. And I think that's a tribute to him because he wants to continue to do community work. So let's give Tommy a hand. And Tommy's a great asset to us. Whenever we have our meetings, he constantly talks about the county. So he really misses Commissioner Scott. <laughs> And so on behalf of the San Antonio Housing Authority, again, I want to congratulate the Hilliard family. Your dad left a tremendous... Again, the dedication. I had a big folder and lots of comments. Today I have no notes, so that's good for you, all right? Um, this morning when I read my, my morning devotional, uh, it was about counting your blessings. And I think this is a very apropos saying today, to count our blessings for what we have uh, and, and what we're about to do, uh, and there's no doubt that uh, God blessed Dr. Robert Hilliard in, in so many ways. When all of the obstacles of segregation in our country were, were there, he kept pressing. Uh, and it's not always easy to be the first, to be the only one in the room. And, of course, I always treasured the history that the Bear County hospital district was the institution that opened the door for integrating our medical facilities and so we should be proud we should be proud <laughs> of that legacy and there's a lesson for even the staff that will work in in medical care uh, and that's about innovation and you're in a you're in a facility named after someone who was a trailblazer, an innovator, a first. And sometimes we do things because it's the way things have always been, but thinking about how can we tailor and do things that will tr blaze trails in even your medical attention to the patients that will come through this clinic, you should remember the legacy of an innovator, of someone who had those caring hands and a love for people. And so be proud. Be proud of this history which sits on the wall. Um, I'm, I'm extremely grateful uh, for the artists and the partnership of the university health system. Um, you know, you all took care of all of the details. I had a vision to create a display to Dr. Hilliard's history because of how moving it is. And thank you for donating so many treasures to this uh, beautiful building. Uh, but it's exactly how, how I thought about it, and I hope each one of you will see this display as you walk through the door on your right. Um, you know, I can't help but think uh, today uh, about the life of Dr. Hilliard and the, the life and understanding of politics in a day when our federal government is closed and our local government is getting things done. And Dr. Hilliard understood that until the day he died. He was in his 80s. He didn't move around like he used to. But he, he would take me on my campaign 
And he introduced me to people like Clem Lyons and, and many other uh, doctors and, and people he thought I knew. He knew better than I did, Commissioner Atkinson, of how important the Bear County Hospital District is to this community. And so he, he took me by the hand and he mentored me and I appreciate that even in his frail health towards the end of his life, he was still doing it. What does that say about the rest of us and our commitment to help the next generation to lead and do things for others? And so he's an inspiration. Uh, I will never forget that care he took with, with me and I'm just so happy that uh, the hospital district uh, didn't kick me out of the boardroom when I was pushing and prodding and saying, take a look at this, take a look at this. Thanks, Jim, and thanks to Janie and Ira uh, for your leadership. I will also say this. Uh, we're, we're, we're about six years, five or six years past this, so I, I'm going to say this. Politics had a lot to do with this being here um, on, on many, many different levels. You heard from uh, brother Dr. Stribling about the Obama administration, the initiatives, it matters who you vote for. Don't let anybody tell you that doesn't matter. It matters. <laughs> Not every candidate's the same. Not every party is the same. It matters who you vote for. And uh, it matters that you advocate. I said this at the uh, groundbreaking, but thank you to the NAACP, Brother Hill. Uh, thank you for your committee uh, raising this issue, uh, empowering us to do something about health care. Uh, and I have to thank Commissioner Atkinson, too, because you ran for county judge, and I think it kind of pushed the county judge to help out a little bit more in getting this <laughs> clinic done. So it's all good. We all love each other, right? It's all good, right? I'm just saying. <laughs> it's all good. So. Uh, we, we, we got it done. That's the most important part. We're working together. And we got it done. So uh, this, this, this institution is going to do a lot of incredible things for people. When you go into the exam rooms, I want you to see the electronic teaching uh, boards. I've never seen one of those. My doctor certainly doesn't have one uh, where the patients will be able to see, you know, not just a paper, a paper wall a display of various body parts and how it's explained, but a more dynamic, uh, modern, uh, electronic uh, diagrams so that there will be real education. There's so many things that sometimes are missed in nutrition and science and healthcare, and they're going to be put on a level that everybody understands and lives will be transformed because of the technology uh, and the thought that went into every detail in this building. Uh, the, the, the artists, the art that's here, the, the hands that are here, and thank you for the beautiful uh, portrait. I, we can't say enough uh, how, uh, how, how much of a, a notable, significant mark it will add to the life of this building. Um, but thank you all, uh, because each and every one of you has played a role in the spirit of this community's rise. That's what we're celebrating here as well. Out of the ashes, a phoenix has risen. We're on the move and revitalization's here. So thank you for what you all are doing. I want to thank you all for tuning in to Black Video News for this special day. It's a special day. There's a clinic, University Health System. The legacy of Dr. Robert L.M. Hilliard lives on with this clinic right here. It just opened up, University Health System. We're right at 919 Lock Street right here in the Alamo City. And I've got Dr. Hilliard's son right here, Dr. Hilliard. How are you doing? I'm great, Keith. How are you? I'm doing great, Doc. How's everything going on this day? Fantastic. Uh, it's a great day. We're proud celebrating a historic event for the city and for the, and for the uh, community. Yeah, your dad's legacy lives on. Of course, you're a physician. Are you going to be doing any practice out of here? I won't. Uh, <laughs> I love you. Uh. Yeah, man. How does it feel, man? You got all your family, your siblings here, your mother's here for this special day, the ribbon cutting. This facility is open. How does it feel for the hill your family? Uh, for our family, it's an amazing uh, legacy, an amazing uh, tribute to the man who we all love. Uh, my dad was a, a hero to me, a mentor to a lot of people here, but just to see him brought back today, you know, and honored is uh, something that's blessed my heart, and uh, it, 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 it's, it's humbling. Yeah, it is a special day, and I want to thank you for, you know, just talking to us briefly right here for this special day, okay? Yeah, thank you very Stay much. Stay logged on. It's Dr. Hill, your son, right here. Stay logged on for more right here at 919 Lock Street for this beautiful clinic that just opened up. 
the Dr. Robert L. M. Hilliard Health Center right here in the Alamo. Stay logged on for more. Thank you. For logging right back at the Dr. Robert L. M. Hilliard Health Center. And I've got Dr. Robert L. M. Hilliard Jr. right here. The, man, how does it feel? I just got through talking to your brother. The legacy lives on for your dad. You're a physician. How does it feel from your perspective, from the Hilliard family, sir? It feels amazing. My father donated so much of his life to helping others, um, helping the community. So I think this is an amazing legacy. We're very proud. He is smiling down in heaven, very happy about this. Now, where do you practice? I practice in Houston, Texas. You're in H-Town, huh? I'm in H-Town, yeah. Now, you're a medical doctor, right? I'm an OB-GYN, just like he was. I, fo I followed in his footsteps. Followed in dad's footsteps? I did, I did. Bringing Absolutely. new babies in the world, huh? I'm, I won't hit 14,000, but yes, <laughs> that's my goal. That's it. Well, Dr. Hill, your mom is out here. It truly is a unique day for the, for the Hillier family, man. And I want to thank you for talking to me, okay? Well, thank you very much for all you've done for the community. Thank, thank you so much. Thank Take you. care. Stay logged on for more right here. This is Dr. Robert L. M. Hilliard's son. Stay logged on for more right here at Black Video News. Thank you. Thank you all for tuning in right back to Black Video News for this grand opening right now. The ribbon was cut. And I want Dr. Hilliard to tell my viewers exactly some of the portraits on the wall, what they represent, and talk a little bit about these photos. Thank you, Keith. Absolutely. This is a exhibition for my father. Uh, it really kind of goes to some of the contributions he made in life uh, to the city and to the community. Uh, starting here at this side, we have pictures of him and some of the babies he delivered in his office. This is him when he was actually uh, um, uh, in office here in, in San Antonio as one of the, uh, the um, uh, commissioners, uh, the uh, city councilman. Uh, here's him as a, as a child. He was also in the Air Force um, uh, here. And here's the family, the Hillier family. Moving on, this is his white coat, which he had and practiced with every day for, for years. Uh, my dad also was honored as the NMA uh, president, which is a national honor. Um, and he's one of the few here, and, and one of the only ones from San Antonio. Uh, here is his stethoscope, which is the tool he used every day to touch hearts. Um, here also is the uh, an award for him, uh, a citation for him, as he was the commissioner of Saha, actually the first black commissioner of Saha here in San Antonio. Father also uh, had a lot of uh, things he did that were outstanding. This is a list of them. Uh, rather than going all through them, one of the things he did, uh, he was um, he was uh, the second, I believe, city councilman who was African American, city of San Antonio, the first black chair of Saha. Uh, he was a fly surgeon. He was actually the third African American to graduate from medical school in, in Texas at UTMB. Uh, he integrated Texas, integrated San Antonio as well. He was one of the first doctors to integrate every hospital in San Antonio uh, for for surgery uh, and for privileges, and many privileges. Um, he practiced in the east side and loved the east side and was very dedicated to this community. And that's why this was a place where he was uh, honored and why I think it's amazing. Uh, he was actually also one of the, uh, the he was the first African American on the state board of medical examiners, which is the board who gives license to doctors and also um, is in charge of looking out and uh, protecting the public. So he was very big in that. Um, so many things he did, and there's uh, so much for a life, um, and a legacy, something we all look up to, and, and we're honored to be here. I'm honored to, to be here to represent my father, and thank you. Thank you all for tuning right back to Black Video News. I said it's a special day right here in San Antonio, Texas. Dr. Robert L. M. Hilliard, the legacy lives on with the health center, and I've got our county commissioner here. Commissioner Tommy Calvert, how are you doing? Oh, this is a, a dream come true day, and uh, I couldn't be, I, my expectations have actually been exceeded by the uh, beautiful building and all of the services, the size and scope of the services, the technology here at the University, Robert Hilliard University Health Clinic. And uh, I said the name on purpose because there's only two buildings in the 29 clinic University Health System that are named after people. Right. Uh, the Robert B. Green and now uh, Dr. Robert Hilliard uh, Clinic. And, and it's just a really exciting day for our community who is extremely proud of the accomplishments of Dr. Hilliard, who is not just a San Antonio trailblazer, but has head of the National Medical Association, uh, was and and also on the UT uh, Board of Medicine out of uh, out of Houston and Galveston. He was a he was a nationwide trailblazer.
Yeah, a lot of babies. I just talked to you know his son. A lot of dem dem uh, demographics when oh, we yeah. talk about the birth of kids. Yeah. But t today really is a unique day right here in San Antonio. And this is a state-of-the-art facility. Yeah. And I just want you to touch on that because you were here. You spoke at the ribbon cutting. Let's talk about some of the technology that this facility has, Commissioner. Yeah. So, you know, uh, inside your exam room, you have displays that are going to have electronic uh, uh, body parts and uh, explanations of ailments and I think that's nice because typically you just have a piece of paper on the wall in your doctor's office and Correct. there's the body part but they're actually going to have a more dynamic look and include even your exams and your body into those electronic uh, components and so you know where you have areas where people may not have had health science and other kinds of uh, medical understanding they have a classroom in the exam room in essence and it brings uh, the whole body to life and I think Think it'll enhance the uh, quality of care and the understanding of what the treatment that they need to take out of the clinic will be. Uh, so you've got here in this room uh, the hospital bed for uh, treatment and stabilization of uh, more major issues. They can begin that work here. Right. You've got the collaboration uh, in in the open office space of the nurses. They're all kind of working together. You've got uh, the ability to get your testing. So if you need to have a urinalysis or blood uh, sample, they can do that here. In in the clinic. You don't have to wait too long. A lot of those tests can be done on the spot. Uh, so uh, this facility from the artwork to the uh, just the aesthetics and the technology is uh, truly say they are 20 some 22,000 square feet. It looks smaller from the outside than than, than it is. It's big Yeah, it, it, it really does mm -hmm. Revitalization just quickly right here on the east side starting the year out. How does it feel? You know, I mean here in Bear County well having a clinic right here on the east side so, Commissioner. So, so in this area my history goes back much longer than just this moment. So, you know, my father helped organize uh, the people of Sutton Homes. Of course, Correct. Sutton Homes is a public housing unit that uh, was torn down and is now uh, $30 million in rehab. Right. And that's part of the land uh, swap and opportunity that Saha gave the, the health, uh, university health system. I remember as a little kid, uh, dad was Santa, we had the fire truck, and I was his elf, and he gave the toys and I gave the food to the people here. And so now, you know, 30 years later, you have uh, job opportunity, you have health care opportunity, you have uh, revitalization of housing and different incomes. And so you can really see and think about what the next couple of decades are going to be like in this area, right off the highway in 35 and Fort Sam Houston. And uh, it's really uh, it's really nice to all these things come in full circle. Well, Commissioner, thank you for taking the time out to talk to us. Keep up the good work. I know you have a full agenda this year. Stay logged on right here at Black Video news for more at this new facility that just opened up right here on the east side 919 lock street thanks for logging right back to black video news right here at the robert lm hilliard health center and i've got ronald hilliard the oldest sibling right here at the center today and i just want to talk to you the oldest how does it feel mr hilliard well it's uh, you know a very proud day today to have my father be recognized throughout the city throughout the community for all the hard work and years he's put in dedication to the medical health field, uh, system and donating back to the community in so many different ways and to have all the people here who were patients of his and descendants, uh, you know, second and third generation people who he delivered here and, you know, it's just nice to see a culmination of all this come together. Uh, you know, my, my father struggled, you know, back in the 40s and 50s going through racism, discrimination fighting racial barriers, uh, you know, breaking through those barriers, you know, not only achieving, but surpassing and overcoming, and, you know, becoming a band leader, as you would say, in the community of getting things done. So uh, I'm very, very proud of today and, and, and the accomplishments he has made and, and the leadership he's done for many people to follow in his footsteps. Well, Ronald, I want to thank you for talk, taking the time out to talk to us. It really, truly is an amazing day for your dad's legacy to live on and all of the babies that he delivered right here in San Antonio. And, and, and they're all different demographics too, right? Yes, uh, he, uh, you know, it's like going fishing. You want to go to the, the pond with the biggest fish. His demographics was throughout San Antonio, uh, Hispanic, Black, Anglo. We have the, the extremely underprivileged where his patients are the extremely wealthy and privileged in the, our community where his patients. So uh, the demographics were very far reaching throughout. And, 
you know, he always believed, you know, you help anybody, you know, even if those people who were uh, without funds or financial means, he never turned anybody away. And he always believed in reaching out and helping people. So, uh, you know, and also an acknowledgement, you know, coming with uh, the Martin Luther King uh, march that we had last weekend and, and watching people come together and, as, you know, Dr. King would say, it's not the color of your skin, but the content it would bring. Um, you know, he, he went through a lot in overcoming a lot of civil rights, uh, I just say discrimination going on in the 50s and 60s and overcoming. And, you know, he's so proud, you know, just I'm just so proud of my father. Well, I want to thank you. It truly is a proud day right here on the east side of San Antonio. The oldest sibling, Mr. Rhino Hilliard. Stay logged on right here at Black Video News. Thank you all for tuning right back to Black Video News for this groundbreaking ribbon cutting for the Dr. Robert L. M. Hilliard Center. And I've got the unique gentleman here. Now, this gentleman, you can see this portrait or painting that they're handing out right here at the Health Center. This is the artist that just designed the artwork that you just saw my videographer pan from. Mr. Reginald Stokes, how are you doing, sir? Oh, I'm glad to be here. Uh, very honored to be a part of this uh, building, this facility. Uh, it's beautiful seeing so many community members and uh, civic leadership come out to support bringing health care to the San Antonio, East San Antonio community. Yeah, east side of San Antonio. There you go. Tell us a little bit about, you know, this unique painting that you did here. Uh, so this is a mosaic mural. Uh, it's about 15 feet in length and 10 feet in height and it's called Healing Hands. It really speaks to Dr. Hilliard's legacy of uh, how many people's lives he touched in his work, but uh, more importantly, all of the community members that came together to make this healthcare facility what it is here in East San Antonio. Now, are you a native San Antonio? No, I'm from Houston, Texas, but I love every bit of uh, San Antonio and the hospitality that I've felt since I've been here. Now, for my viewers out there, you just graciously did this. How can how can they see more of your artwork, sir? Yeah, so you can find me online, and my website is reginaladams.com. I'm at Facebook at Reginald Charles Adams, and on Instagram at Reginald Adams. And I said Reginald Stokes, but it's Reginald That's Adams. Right, right, Reginald Adams, there you well, go. Well, thank you, Mr. Adams. Well, this you. is the artist. You see the beautiful work right here. Stay logged on for more right here at BVN. The BVN for this special day. The health center is open right here on the east side of San Antonio, 919 Lock Street, Dr. Hilliard's Health Center. The legacy lives on. Introduce yourself to my viewers. Clyde Foster at KROV. Clyde, KROV is out here, FM, the heart and soul of San Antonio. How does it feel to be a part of this groundbreaking health center? It's a long time coming, let me tell you, for the residents, for the taxpayers, for the constituents. It's one thing to say it, but it's another thing to do it. And now we see the fruits of our labors, and that's what it causes when you're a registered voter and when you care about your community. The greatest health care system here in San Antonio, right here in the 78202. And it's going to be a blessing not only to the whole city of San Antonio, but our residents here in 78202 on this east side, under the great commissioner precinct for Commissioner Calvert. Yeah, and our seniors, you know, our seniors, a clinic right here on the east side, we got a lot of seniors. It's really, it was vital. It was needed in the community, wouldn't you say, Clyde? I'll say so much to this because our seniors had to travel at least 20 to 25 minutes to go to the main Robert B. Green downtown and also the University Health Science Center over on the west side, northwest side. Now they have it right in their own backyard. Mom, dad, auntie, the children can come right down the street in the heart where they live and get the services that they need. Well, Clyde, thank you so much. Thanks for tuning in right here. Stay logged on for more right here at this groundbreaking KROV FM is in the house, heart and soul of San Antonio. Stay logged on for more right here at BVN. Great. Thank you all for tuning right back to Black Video News for this special report right here at the Hilliard Health Center. And I've got Dr. Hilliard's daughter right here, Barbara Felix. How are you doing, Barbara? Good, thank you. Thank you. Fine, but excited, happy. It really truly is a great day for your dad's legacy and the family, right? Yes, it's absolutely uh, um, remarkable and astounding. I'm just so proud and happy to be uh, to have this uh, happen for my father and to be part of uh, what is in the building. Yeah, and I want you to just tell my viewers a little bit about this beautiful portrait of your dad here. Um, so I, I got invited to, to do my father's portrait. Um, 
I knew I wanted it to be an oil formal painting. Um, I knew that I wanted the painting to have his hands and his face and just the right expression. And I uh, came across this photograph and uh, got worked with the actual photographer to get the uh, permission to do this. And uh, was the, the photo was black and white, so I was totally inventive with the color. Uh, and I really uh, loved the way blue looked on my father, so I decided I, it would be a blue suit because I had no idea what the color of the suit was. And uh, that the chair, I wanted it to be red because red was kind of a regal color. And I thought that my dad was deserving of, of, of that. He's, and I, it's also a little bit larger than life because my father was a larger than life person. I mean, I just don't know. All of, his, all of us children together combined don't have my father's resume of the accomplishments that he did and um, he's just so inspirational. I worked very, very hard on this and I, and actually the very first day that I started it, I was actually in tears that day uh, painting it because it was coming back to my uh, roots of my love of oil painting but also painting this portrait of my father who I love so dearly and, um, and I actually had to think about some funny moments so I could stop myself from crying because the tears are just running down the very first day that I worked on this. Well, well, Barbara, it truly is a unique painting. And I know they say your dad was known for his ties, too. Yes. So I saw you got creative with the ties. Just collaborate on the tie a little bit. Well, actually, so the tie was the tie that he used in the photograph. And I was asked if I was going to put the tie in the piece. And I decided absolutely because, one, he chose it for the photograph. I wanted this painting to reflect him and his choices and things that he did and and and, and he did like his style uh, but also I thought that because the tie had uh, diverse families in it that it was really a nice metaphor for what this clinic is going to be serving a diverse community in, in San Antonio and so it just it, it, I, I left a little couple of details out of the tie that I didn't think were necessary for the painting. Um, but otherwise, I was very happy to have this. Well, Barbara, thank you so much for taking the time out to talk to us. It really, truly is an amazing day for the East Side. A health center is right here at 919 Lock Street, right here in San Antonio, Texas. And the legacy lives on for Dr. Robert L.M. Hilliard. Right here, the clinic is open. I'm Keith Scott. We'll see you next time right here on Black Video News. As always, be encouraged.